Latifah. When does spanking a child cross the line to child abuse? All I want is for raw behind. Is hitting your daughter your first impulse? If it comes out of their mouth, they get it in the mouth. I don't just beat them until I just feel happy on beating them. Kids do need discipline, but there's a line. You're a man, that's a kid. You're right. not supposed to be hitting them that powerful. Will our guests try different forms of discipline and change today? I don't want her to grow up to be scared of you. Next on Queen Latifah. canceled that show. Here it is years later and everybody still remembers it. But that's okay. I hold you down, Arsenio. Now, thank you for coming out to the show, everybody. Thank you so much. Welcome to the show. Um, today's show is called When Discipline Divides a Family. And I'm going to tell you why it's important to me. I remember as a kid, like many of you probably do, um, every so often getting spanked for something that I did. Now, back then, it wasn't a big deal. Okay? It was generally considered being a good parent. Right? Is that the case with a lot of y'all here? A lot of people had that butt tap growing up? Just checking. But see, today, one good swat, and you have to worry somebody's gonna call the cops on you. So when does spanking a child cross the line to child abuse? And is spanking really necessary? Well, today we're gonna try and answer some of those questions. Our first guest, Sharina, says she and her fiance are so divided on this issue when it comes to their three-and-a-half-year-old daughter that she's ready to cancel their wedding if he does not change. Please welcome her to the show. Thank you. Um, Sharina, what does Chris do that bothers you? Um, well, Latifah, my daughter is three and a half years old. Um, Chris whoops my daughter all the time. He thumps her. He yells at her. He curses sometimes. What do you mean he sometimes. thumps her? He'll thump her hand or just whatever. Stop. He'll... Want me to show you? Yes, I'll please demonstrate you. how Chris he, whoops, whoops your daughter. Maybe, for instance, he'll, she won't do her homework or something. And she'll come up from school, why didn't you do your homework? Why, you know, just, <laughs> like, you know, stop going in the street just for nothing. And I'm like, why are you hitting her? She is three. She is not going to understand this. And Three-year-olds get homework? Three, my three-year-old goes to school and she gets homework every wow. day. It's, sometimes she doesn't want to do it. Her daddy is whooping her. And I'm like, dang, she's three. She's not going to miss a whole lot if she doesn't Aww. do her homework. Aww. And he, he yells at her. He curses. I'm going to beat you or you know what? And... He threatens her, and I don't think now, my daughter... Now, why does he curse at her? I whoop your A, you know, whatever. Do you want me to pop you? Just whatever comes to his head, he'll say it. And I don't think he should talk to her like that. I don't think he should really be hitting her when she's that young, because it's not coming across. I'll make the same point, and I don't have to hit her, you know? Right, Just right. sit there and talk to her. Right. And I think, I think everybody should try to talk to their kids before resulting into whooping them. Okay, you know? so I guess... Why don't we bring Chris on out and see what Chris has to say. Chris, come on out. Look here, baby. I don't whoop my daughter because I get angry. I whoop my daughter because I love her. I care for her. I want her to know that. She has to grow up, and you know the environment we live in. It's bad. People gang bang and do all this stuff. I want my daughter to know that I love her, you love her, and she has to mind somebody. I know, but baby, three years old. You three whooping her because she don't want to do her homework. And brushing her teeth? What? Brushing, brushing her, her teeth? Getting her whooping she because she doesn't like, brush I mean, her that's teeth? that's not all that I whoop her for, Queen Latif. I But I mean, just those particular things little seem a little... Ex I mean, I brush... Getting a spanking for not brushing it's your not teeth. not so much the What's brushing your teeth. It's more of... Uh, being hard-headed, telling me what you want to do and not doing what I ask you to do or saying, well, my mama said this or, you know, that's what I say. I'm daddy. When I tell you to do something, you, you can should respect res that. You should do what I have to say. That's not. I mean, I don't whoop my daughter because she makes me mad. I you, well, let me ask you this question. Do you, is that the first impulse that you always have when she doesn't, if she, if she disrespects you, if she doesn't no, respect what you say? My, do I don't you... even have to whoop my daughter. I, sometimes I can bring her right here and talk to her. And just the fear of knowing but... that I, can, I will discipline you. I am your daddy. I will discipline you. You're going to mind me. And just the fear of that, I get her attention. And when I get her attention, I discipline my daughter to teach her, to let her know. It's either I'm going to discipline you and I love you 
or the people out there on the street is going to discipline you, and they don't care about you. Okay, but, okay, well, let me let, I disagree because, first of all, you don't have to whoop your kids for anything. If you can't talk to them and let them know whatever you did is wrong, Kristen, you know, you need to stop doing that and sit there and talk to her. You don't even tell her what you're whooping her for when you spank her. I and that's defeating the whole purpose. I talk to her, I get her attention, and I let her know what I don't want her to do and why, the harm that it can bring her. And if, if she keeps doing it, where I have to repeatedly, over a month, two months of time, then mm -hmm. I'll whoop her. Because my daughter might be three, but she understands, she mm -hmm. learns. She is not just uh, a human. She's not just a human. She, well, she learns what's going kid. on. Uh, basically, I'm here to tell you today that if you don't change your methods of discipline, that we can't get married. Baby, what you mean we can't get married? That's just it, because you're not trying to respect my wishes as far as bringing our daughter up together. And if, if it's making me unhappy, I think you should, you know, find another I mean, way. That, that's how I was raised. And I wasn't raised wrong. When I go out, and like I said, I grew up in the environment where people do what they do. They gang bang and stuff like that. And the discipline that my parents instilled on me, because I got whooped. I mean, not belts. I got whooped, water hoses, TV guys across your head, whatever. I got but hit. But does, does that mean that that and was the it, right way no, for it to go down? It's not, I'm not saying that it was right. I mean, look, your, your, your wife-to-be is, is hurting behind the way that you discipline your daughter. It gave I me, was raised the same way, baby. I, I got whooped, whatever my mama found in her hand. I got whooped, too, and that's the whole reason why I don't want to raise our daughter that way. <laughs> it's time to break the cycle. Try a different form or, you know? I mean, there's two or more. There's Just no compromise for y'all? Yo, yeah, we can compromise because I love my baby. We I love my daughter. And we can work it out if that's what it's going to take. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, a mother who says her ex beat their son so badly that he left belt buckle imprints on his skin. And now she's here to tell her ex, you won't see our kids if you continue to hit them. We'll be right back. I don't go for no arms. I don't go for no, no, I don't do this. Take all your clothes off, strip naked. I don't do that kind of stuff. Okay, I love my son. So, so if, I, if I tell him, if I tell him to stand there or whatever like that, this is what I do. That's one time. Woke up this morning and looked for a sign. Somehow I knew it was gone. At GEICO, we get the ball rolling on your claim quickly. Even in the middle of the night. GEICO, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. This is my final plea. I am a gecko. Not to be confused with GEICO, which could save you hundreds on car insurance. So stop calling me. GEICO, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. <laughs> Pedialyte is now serving half pints. Introducing Pedialyte Singles. Fun single serving bottles that have kids excited. It's my size. Cherry, my favorite. It's squeezy. Now, the number one recommended brand for preventing dehydration from diarrhea lets you do something special for your child. And what will your half pint like best about our half pints? All gone. New Pedialyte Singles. men's and women's leather and heavyweight outerwear is 30 to 50 percent off at Sears. Like you needed a reason to go out and play. Outerwear is on sale at Sears. Give the good life at a great price, guaranteed.
Tomorrow on Queen Latifah, overweight teens. The kids at school make me feel so bad. People was pinching me. I look in the mirror, I don't see prettiness. I see only ugliness. You're missing all the beautiful things about yourself. With a bigger issue. I ended up quitting school. I thought about killing myself at times. Longing for love and support. I'm serious. I need help. <laughs> We're definitely going to get some help for you. When you're ready to go back to school, I'll walk through those doors with you. Tomorrow on Queen Latifah. couples who are divided over how to discipline their children. Now, our next guest called Child Protective Services on her ex-husband because of a beating he gave their son. Now she's afraid to leave her, her child alone with him. Please welcome Catherine to the show. Thanks for coming on. Now, Catherine, what did you see that actually made you call CPS? Well, Queen Latifah, when my son, who was seven, came home from a summer visit two years ago, uh, at the end of the day, to take off his clothes, I noticed black and blue marks across the lower part of his back. And to me, that was totally unacceptable. So I decided to call CPS. He, you say he services. came from a summer vacation? Yes. With his dad? Yes, he okay. stayed with his dad for the summer. So what happened after you called the Child Protective uh, Services? They came out and took their pictures and started a case and whatnot. Uh, talked to him also and uh, talked to my son as well. Um, it's just his beatings to me are, are too long and too hard. I can show you if need be. Please, show me. Sure. Show me what your, what your ex-husband does. Oh, dag. Oh, but oh, yeah. oh, and start a sting just to look at it. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, let's say, you know, he'll hit him. On the back? You know, and On the him. back? Well, it's, it's going for the butt, but if the hands get in the way, Oh, the oh, man's well, getting torn Whatever up. get in the way. But let's just say we hit him again, and let's say he falls on the floor. Then it's get up. From the floor? Get up so again. So kick, kick little Ricky over. All right, now, well, what would one do when little, little Ricky, Ricky gotta is get on the up. You got to Well, of course, he gets up on his own, but he hits him again. It's till he feels he's had enough. I think we should just hear what Catherine's ex-husband has, has to say since we have gone this far with it. Seiko, come on out. I might come to you. How can you say that I beat my son when every time I talk to him on the phone, he wants to be with his dad? He tells it's funny, you it's funny that how you tell me. he's scared okay. to tell you. Now, okay, that's you can fine. Take okay, him. but before... That's, that's, that's fine. What, what about the incident with these, bu these marks that, on his that, back? This okay, you want me marks. to show you what, 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 what happened? I can show you what happened. You sure, got a belt show me what happened. The belt is or... right there. Okay. Now, I never intentionally go for my son's back. All I go is for raw behind period, okay? I don't go for no arms, I don't go for no, no, I don't do this, take all your clothes off, strip naked, I don't do that kind of stuff, okay? That's my, that's my son, that's my seed, okay? I love my son. So if I, if I tell him, if I tell him to stand there or whatever like that, this is what I do. That's one time, okay? But hold on, but hold on though, okay? That's one time or whatever, but depending on the circumstance of the situation, I'm not just beating my son, just, just bludgeoningly beating him like that. Okay, but now I find it, it kind of hard to believe that all of a sudden when he goes has a problem in school or, or whatever, she calls me, I drive eight hours to discipline my son because he's acting I'll up. Call okay? you if I call you because I feel if, that's if my what son, we if my son is so, if, I feel, if I'm so dangerous or if you feel that you're so scared of me disciplining my son, why would I drive eight, eight hours across the, the, the state or whatever to discipline my son if you're so scared of me beating him? That's my son. First Society, of all, society. I never, what happened with your, other, never, with your stepson? Uh, my oldest son got a call from the teacher stating that he had been acting up, and he had been acting up for, for a while. In then. class, that's cool. And so we decided, he decided we'd give him a spanking. Fine, no problem. Well, to me, it got to be too long. And so I decided, well, I'm going to have to go in here. And I opened up the door, and my son was nude with his hands tied. And I told him, I told him, okay, now his hands tied. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That is 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 not true. I don't believe in just beating my sons. I talk to my kids, okay? I believe if you talk to, if you talk to your children, they're not gonna just going to basically say, okay, well, 
Okay, I'm not going to do this no more. I'm not going to do this no more. And then they continue doing the same old thing. You have to draw a line with that. It hurts me just as much as it hurts my kids to whip them. Your discipline, you take it to the extreme. And you always do. But you get upset and you let the, uh, I guess, the whippings pile up like they used to do back in the day. No, I, don't I don't do that. I deal with it right then and there. And they all depend on the situation. I talk to them. I, I, I can count. Talk to <laughs> them. <laughs> you said, let the whippings pile up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, back, I in the, back in the day. Boy, you got to stack the day, You got to stack them up. You got to stack them up. You ain't got to do all that. You ain't got to do all that. But at what point do you decide that there's a process to discipline? Okay, there's a process. I, I mean, I was disciplined with a belt in my household mm. very infrequently. Right. But it was at the point where I had been put on punishment. You know, I mean, there were steps that were taken. I was, right. there was, it's almost like if the cops get your son. Yeah. The first offense is this. This is the punishment for the first offense. The second offense is higher. You know, the consequences right. get greater and graver. Right. Right. You right. know, so if you go from just, I told you not to do that, to boom, busting that <laughs> behind, I mean, where is... You, you got, you're not giving them any leeway, are you? Okay, but I'm not a perfect father. And no. I don't think anybody in this auditorium, in this room, are, are perfect parents. You're going to learn from mistakes that you make. But just for you to say, okay, I just deliberately beat my son in the back, that's not true. She I actually didn't say that. Didn't say that. Okay. She or, didn't say or, that. Or just say, Her okay, main what, concern was that you, you discipline him too strongly. That, wait, we, we, we're not we, talking we, about... We, you both agree that using spankings or, or belts to discipline your child at some point, that's okay, but right. you, so what you, you disagree on is... The degree to which you exactly. go He's to get the point across. He's stealing something out of the store. One, two, three, That's four, but five. But you what know is what? that? My I mean, he, he's he like, stealing I something from the store. I got three He's stealing I something from the store. I more than that. It was a simple process to it. I can get Let the same point. Trust me, and believe this, and this is as a kid that's been through this, the, the talk that you will get, that you can give them before the spanking is exactly. ten times worse exactly. than the spanking will ever be. Exactly. Where am I with the guilt trip and the discipline? There's nothing. I mean, you know, kids, y'all, was, was there any worse feeling than, like, the feeling of disappointing your parents? Right. I mean, it's like the speech you had to get. You just felt so horrible. It made you not want to do it anymore. So, I mean, do y'all but right. do y'all go to that degree? It, maybe you guys need to be a little more patient in how you deal with the kids. Uh, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely patient with my kids. I'm, I'm definitely patient with well, my kids. I have no well, problem we got to take thing. a break. And when we come back, a wheelchair-bound woman who says her mother hits her and her younger siblings with shoes, paddles, belts, She's here to tell her mother the abuse has to stop. Don't go away. I'm 23, and I still get smacked in my mouth for saying what I don't feel like. She doesn't sit on this. She sits on this. Okay, so if it comes out of here, it's going to go here. If someone did something terrible to you or someone you know and you want to demand an explanation, give us a call toll-free at 1-877-LATIFA. Severe weather can strike anywhere and without warning, but it can't hide from meteorologist Robert Smith. The Fox Storm Tracker showing that this storm is now beginning to form a tornado. State-of-the-art tracking that can pinpoint the exact location of a storm and plot its course instantly. Please take cover immediately. Robert Smith's weather, tonight on Fox News at 9. I'll be right back with your new low Geico rate. Great. I can save you over $250. Every week, 10,000 drivers switch their car insurance to GEICO. We take all the necessary precautions. GEICO Direct. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Busy day. What? Dear Albertsons, at the holidays, my company supplies meals to people in need. Unfortunately, last year, we waited so late to order them, we didn't think we would get our meals. But your store director, Denny Prosser, had dinners prepared for our most needy families. And right in the middle of the holiday hustle and bustle, he even carried the food to my car for me. It's people like Denny who make the holidays a little brighter and make Albertsons my store. Sandra LeHoulier, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. At Computer Learning Center, we can teach you networking, so people will hire you. We can teach you windows, so people will hire you. We can even teach you how to fix it, so people will hire you. Call CLC at 1-800-464-4CLC. The job market is tight, but not for Computer Learning Center grads. CLC gives you the skills you need, helps with your resume, and offers nationwide career placement. For a brochure, call Computer Learning Center today, 1-800-464-4CLC. Get the 
money you deserve when you get hurt on the job. Been denied medical treatment? Call us right now. 1-888-644-IWAC. 1-888-644-4922. The Injured Workers Assistance Center will fight and fight and fight to get you the money you deserve. Absolutely free. We help people who've been hurt on the job get the medical treatment you need and the money you deserve. Call us. 1-888-644-IWAC. 888-644-4922. If you've been hurt on the job, we can help get the money you deserve. Witness the historic first kiss. Hits me like you've always wanted but never could. Oh, oh Next, third box. Tonight at 10 on Fox 26. Families torn over how to discipline their child. Now, please welcome 23 year old Tanya to the show. Thank you. Now, Tanya spent half of her life in a wheelchair, but she says that has not stopped her mother from hitting her and her younger siblings. Tanya says her mother's discipline is abusive and she wants, us to, wants it to stop. Um, why do you think your mom is abusive to you, Tanya? My mother has a very bad temper and she feels that that's the way she can get her point across. If she feels that she's told you once too many times, you're gonna get whatever you deserve. And she's, she's hit my sister when she was younger with um, a racquetball paddle. Um, she had a paddle that was shellacked and it says, she had bought it that way, it said attitude adjuster on it. She used to hit them with that and she broke it over one of my brothers because they stole money from her. She has taken him to the police station because of that. She, she goes to, sometimes she goes to extremes, a lot of the times I feel. I'm 23, and I still get smacked in my mouth for saying what I feel like. Jacqueline Barnett is here with us today. Please welcome her to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, I want to have you involved in this discussion because when we were talking about doing this show, there are so many people on so many sides of it, and, and I found that, you know, the laws do vary from state to state. Yes, every but, state has its own rules, but also even the word abuse. Everyone has their own version. And not only is it not just physical, what people don't realize, it's also emotional abuse. If you right. humiliate somebody, you don't even have to lay a hand on them. That constitutes abuse. And what kind of role model is saying, when I can't deal with the situation, I'm going to beat people? What is that going to translate into as an adult? That's the wrong message. It's why then, are you punishing well, but the But then at the same it? time, can't can it say that... Well, if I don't discipline, if anything, I'm trying to show this child there are consequences to your actions. Right. That if you keep messing up, yes, this there is going to get worse and worse. I mean, but are the consequences showing that you're out of control, that you can't try to resolve the matter in a nonviolent manner? It's, it's not the point of me being out of control. It's the point of me showing my showing my son responsibility. It's, it's the point of me showing my son that look, like like Queen T was saying, it's certain things that you cannot do that you think you can do and get away with. Every, every, everything in society Under has... Under the law, you can't get away with what you're doing. Okay, but I'm not, do, I'm not, I'm not doing anything against the law. I'm not doing anything against the law. I'm and not also, doing anything quite against honestly, the law. That's the whole point. Society wants to tell us how we need to get to our own Your wife is just as guilty because if you allow it to happen, then you're a co-conspirator. Okay, you're but an if, an I, if I allow my son to run amok and do anything he wants to do, y'all gonna tell me, okay, well, where was the father at in all of this? If he's in somebody's jail or he said he didn't kill somebody. That's the first question y'all ask. Where's the father? My Bible tells me a, a, a rebellious son left to, his, left to himself is going to bring his mother and father to shame. The okay? legacy I of cannot, violence cannot... that you're passing on from generation to generation is not going to solve okay, it the didn't, problem. It didn't hurt me. I turned out to be pretty good. Well, I mean, well, my father before him, they turned I mean, out to be pretty good. Too, so I, I got my father too, okay. so I got my And I ain't relapsing. Right now, I want to get back to Tanya, and, and uh, also I want to hear what Lucy has to say. So, Lucy, please come on out. Lucy. Lucy, welcome to the show. Hello, Latifa. Who is your attorney? Who is my attorney? You're the attorney? Yes. Let me tell you something. If you people are so concerned about children's rights, where were you with Lisa Steinberg? Where were you with John Bonet? Those people have money, and you're going to come after somebody like me because my daughter chooses to talk to me, her mother. My daughter, you see, is in a chair, a wheelchair. I spent 
e almost every night, every time she was in the hospital, by her bedside, sticking up for her rights. They told me my daughter would be dead by 5, 7, 12, and 17. Hello, she's 23. Who kept her here? Wait a minute. You also said there is a point where you cross the line. But you hit your daughter, I, who you kept alive right. through all of that. I, lo I love my daughter to death. So I why are you smacking her in the mouth? But the problem is that to death but, is what they're afraid of. You don't hit someone. Then you know what? You know what? When, when you get old, do you have children? Yes, I do. Okay. When you get old and it's a you're, you you're ready that. to be taken Boy, care of. If you would have said no, you'd have been in your, trouble. When your kids, <laughs> well, because it is a thing. People that don't have kids can't stand up there and tell me what to do with mine. But, that do have but kids, those I'm that do you. have children have to understand something. I'm not beating my children. You, I love you my kids. You don't consider kids. what you do abusive? No, no, because I don't do it for no reason and just because I got pissed off. I explain to my kids the rules and the, the foreground first. Mm -hmm. The second time I warn them, the third, the third time, that's on them. I talked to them and explained everything. I warned them the second time. If they pushed it a third time, that's their fault. Okay, they so have to suffer the consequences. But I mean, we're talking about paddle, shoes, anything you get your hands on, probably. No. Okay, fine. A big wooden paddle, shellac nicely. It's called an attitude adjuster. The we attitude got it when adjuster. we were in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> it was this long, and it looks like a, um, a yeah, like a little, like a little blackboard. Uh huh. And it used to hang on the wall. Tanya, what is it that you wanted to tell your mom? I, I mean, she is 23, so it. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you that you already raised me. You raised me to be a good person. I think I am. And I don't think that I should be getting smacked in my mouth for voice of my opinion. I think it needs to stop. She's right. She's right. I don't. She's right. She should never be smacked in her mouth, mouth for, vo for voicing her opinion. I don't hit my daughter in her mouth for voicing her opinion. I'm just, I mean, the I fact is, she's, she's a woman. Wait a minute. She, she's a woman. She's, and you know what gets everybody? Mm -hmm. This wheelchair, the four wheels. Now, that's, that's not fooling me. All right, I'm not sure you. she got a mouth and a half you, on her, but, many but she people. is an and adult. You, I mean, I'm not. She doesn't sit on this. Mm -hmm. She sits on this. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, so if it comes out of here, it's going to go here. <laughs> because that's the way it is. See? <laughs> If she oh, well, <laughs> we got to take a break. I'm going to have to stop you right there. But I need to hear from you more because, gosh, mommy is funny. Oh, man, what a personality. Got to love you. Um, coming up next, a woman who was spanked as a child says she's scarred for life and uh, is here to tell her own sister to stop beating a 12-year-old son. Stay with us. I'm like, oh. the need to physically get with him because he wants to be out right. on the corner of Chancellor and Lyons at 12 and 1 o'clock. I'm no. going to get with him. That's oh, right. I That's hate. right. Hey, what's up? If you're in New York and you want to come down and be a part of our studio audience, give us a call toll free at 1-877-485-7144. <laughs> Do you ever get the feeling the claims adjuster is telling your doctor what to say? Back to work. Back to work. Light duty. Light duty. No benefits. No benefits. Well, maybe he is. No benefits. Is your doctor just a mouthpiece for the insurance adjuster? If you think so, then you need to call me. I'll talk to you myself. I'm Christian Hill, and all I do is represent injured workers. Every day we make great fried chicken at churches from scratch. Why? Because not everyone can. Church's chicken, made right before your eyes by someone else. Now at Church's Chicken, get eight big pieces of legs and thighs made from scratch for just $4.99. This is what I do for a living. I'm an aircraft maintenance technician. I work on everything from huge airliners to corporate jets. The pay is great and the benefits are excellent. If you've been looking for a new career, 
And this is definitely something you should look into. One phone call could change your entire life. Call Northrop Rice for information on their aviation training programs. Call 800-776-7423, 776-7423. Call now. Kevon Edmonds, the former After 7 star, returns with his new solo album and hit single, 24-7. Four seven. The new album from Kavan Edmonds, including A Girl Like You, featuring Babyface on RCA. We're talking to men and women who say they have no problem spanking their children in whatever way they see fit. Please meet our next guest, Lisa, and her sister, Daphne. Welcome to the show. Now, Lisa says she's still trying to get over the bad memories of her childhood beatings, and she hates that her older sister, Daphne, beats her 12-year-old son. But Daphne says that spanking is necessary to keep control. Now, Lisa, what have you seen your, your sister do to discipline her son? Well, Daphne does different types of discipline. Sometimes she'll take something away from the child that he likes, like Nintendo or Sega Genesis, whatever's out at the time. Or she'll punish the child, or she'll spank the kid. And that's where I, she knows that I definitely differ with my boo. That's my boo. Well, what, do you, what, do, what, is, your, what is your feeling about spanking? Um, I feel that spanking is absolutely not necessary. I don't think... <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, in any shape, form, or fashion, I'm not feeling it, I'm not having it, I'm not even going there. Well, I, I mean, I, I understand what my sister's saying, and I, and I respect her opinion, but I work in the municipal court in an urban city, the city of Newark, mm. and I'm telling my you, city. all right, push it up for Newark. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. Not something someone told me, not a rumor, not something I've read in some a psychology book. I'm telling you what I live on a daily. These young people come to my office seeking public defense, which is what we provide, for crimes that they have committed because, not that they're maliciously bad people, mm -hmm. but because they have no sense of discipline. Right. We... Daphne, Daphne and I have constant debate over this. And yes, she is a professional in the area where she sees certain people coming in where they have these issues with the law. But guess what? I'm a professional too. I'm not just getting this out of my brain. I'm not just saying it because my mother spanked me and I didn't like it. Well, how did it I, affect you? It, well, number one, it affected me because I was the kind of kid that didn't need it. I'm not saying that you can't discipline your kid. You have to know your individual child and then plug in the discipline to the child's personality. And early on, my mother discovered, after a couple of whoopings, Lisa doesn't need it anymore. And I said, you're right. So, in the early childhood spankings, I didn't know until I became an adult that it made me fear people. It made me fear challenging authority when I needed to. People tell you, respect your elders. No, your elders have to respect you as well. My point, Queen Latifah, is this. Children understand very well, especially in today's technological society where information is abundant. You have kids at home on the internet making dates, so they have information. Right. What I'm saying is because children are more knowledgeable today, they have more access to information today, mm -hmm. they process information better today because they have the resources, they understand when their parents tell them, don't <laughs> do it! Well, <laughs> of your old son Brian and find out what he thinks about getting the belt. Stay with us. If someone did something terrible to you or someone you know and you want to demand an explanation, give us a call toll-free at 1-877-LATIFA.
sure my old job gave me a paycheck, but it didn't give me much else. So I called ITT Tech. I always liked electronics, and with their help, I was able to turn what I like to do into what I'm paid to do. Now I have a job that gives me some real satisfaction and something I never had before, a real future. For an informative brochure, call 1-800-ITT-TECH. That's 1-800-ITT-TECH. I used to wonder if I was too old to go back to school. Now I know I wasn't alone. I used to worry about my future. Now I know I have one. I used to wonder if I made the right decision. Now I know. I should have called sooner. Get a start on your future now. Call 1-800-ITT-TECH for an informative brochure. That's 1-800-ITT-TECH. For sinus sufferers, it can start with a twinge or perhaps a slight pressure. For everyone, there's a signal. Your sinuses are gonna be trouble. Don't let it happen. Take Sudafed at the first sign. Untreated sinus pressure can escalate to pain. But now, taking Sudafed at the first sign releases pressure, so symptoms don't get worse. The first sign of pressure, that's my signal. Stop sinus pain before it starts. Take non-drowsy Sudafed at the first sign. Warning! Warning! If you are injured on the job, do not trust the company doctor. The company doctor does not work for you. Protect your rights now. Call attorneys Anna DeLeon and Arvin Mahindru. We are attorneys Arvin Mahindru and Anna DeLeon. An injured worker in Texas has legal rights. Let us help you protect your rights. Call now and we will help you. Know your rights by calling today. Call right now at 713-777-HELP. 713-777-HELP. Your home phone should do this. Unless you didn't pay the bill and got cut off. Want to make it do this? Then do this. Get reconnected for $39 with Southwest Teleconnect. You don't have to pay your old phone bill off, and you can't be turned down. There's no deposit and no hassle. So, if you'd like to hear this, then do this. And get your home phone reconnected for just $39 a month. It's in your hands. Now go next door and call it. met Daphne and her sister Lisa, her very outspoken sister Lisa. Yes. Uh, now Lisa hates the way Daphne disciplines her 12-year-old son Brian, who is now sitting next to his mom. Please welcome Brian to the show, y'all. <laughs> 12 years old, not quite a little kid, not quite a man yet. Um, Brian, how does it, how does, how do you feel about when your mom spanks you? How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> this is a, my this is a jaded me. question. I feel like I'm being abused sometimes. Aww. Feel like, um, like, like she's doing it like, for like, you know, enjoyment sometimes. And I get like more afraid of her sometimes, like, and anger to her because, like, for example, when I was like seven or eight or nine, after she finished beating me, I was about to go in the night, go in the kitchen and get a knife. I was about to kill my mother. I said, I, I felt that in my heart, but I said, no, nah, I wasn't going to do that. But you were scared. Yeah, I was scared. Because you knew she would beat you if you stab her. Yeah. <laughs> I was just playing. Now, 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 not to make a joke out of this, because this yeah. is serious stuff he just right. said. Yeah, I mean, a kid, right. a kid doesn't, uh, like I said, Please. the word fear is really key. When I got spanked, the word fear was there. I couldn't intellectualize it like I do now. How does that feel to hear your son? Well, it I mean, Brian, you didn't feel like you deserve to get spanked? For any of that stuff that, um... Well, um, like, some points, some points, like, if she tell me more than once, I don't, I don't see that I should get, like, you know, like, a couple of swipes, like, three, but not, like, 20 and 25 and 26 <laughs> and stuff like that and getting knocked in the forehead and stuff. And in the arm and stuff. Are those oh, right? Okay, okay, Brian, okay. Brian, well, in my own defense, I... excuse me, in my own defense, mm -hmm. okay, take a look at this child. Does he look abused to you? No. He's very intelligent. <laughs> Uh -huh. He is very well cared for. I want you to note the clothing is very well paid for and it's good quality stuff. Okay, look at the skin. It's not torn and, and ripped up. Now, understand one thing. 
My son knows that my policy, which I've always put down from birth, you can't wait, first of all, till they're 12 to start this. That's mm -hmm. when you have problems. From birth, I put down the policy. I will discuss with you what I do not like. These are the rules. This is what I want you to do. Now, if you disobey the rule, we will revisit that again. Now, if you disobey the rule again, the third time, I'm going to get you. But understand one thing. I don't beat my children, first of all. I spank them. Mm -hmm. Secondly, when I spank them, I discuss with them why they got the spanking. This is why. Because they don't understand. Now, now, that now this is going to go on. Wait, that wait, wait. Now, go on now, when my, now, when my mother, when my mother used to beat me, okay, there was no spanking, there was beatings, okay? I had no clothing on first, okay? And mother got very busy. She didn't bother to explain the intricate details of why she did it. We had an overall understanding that we did something wrong and we got jacked. But that's that was the bottom line. Now, wait, excuse me. Wait, now, but, and oh, me as no. a parent, I'm a different parent. I'm a more today parent. Let's talk about it first. Well, what did you want to say just now? Um, parent. Wait, wait, wait let's, let's hear from, from Brian. Brian, yeah, Brian from what were you about to say to your mom? What, what I was going to say was, you don't have to do the same thing that your mother exactly. did. Exactly. Try to change things around. That's my point. My point to Daphne Queen. So, okay, my point, so what do you think your mom should do when she's told you what to do when this is now the third or fourth time she's had to tell you the same thing? Right. And well, you do seem like a very intelligent young man. Well, what I what do you think, think is, she should do? Well, what I think is if she had to tell me something four times, then I, that was to reserve to like a smack or, you know, like, um, Go to your bed and can't play no video games or watch no okay, TV. But, kids don't make the rules, but, can't, but we can't we can't we can't allow kids to make the rules for how we the should same conversation them. Daphne has with Brian during the spanking, which I understand. She spanked him and telling him why is the you can just go to the why when you're having the conversation. You don't need the spanking and the conversation. But don't you understand? You don't four times. Right. Once again, we come down to a parent's You need the rights. conversation right. to raise their children. Right. Now, first of all, I mean, I ask these questions because I want to know what these children think and what right. they feel. And right. as I think the parents should be concerned about knowing right. how I their am. kids think and feel. At right. the same time, I do not agree that the child should dictate how right. they're disciplined. That's because right. that doesn't make sense. It's like right. saying, right. I'll rob this you bank, and then I'll tell you how much time I think I should serve for robbing the bank. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, so right. we do have to have some specific roles on who's the parent and who's the child, Absolutely. don't we? Don't Absolutely. you think? I mean, sometimes, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I just think that sometimes a, a line of consequence has to be shown. Will our guests try different forms of discipline and change today, or will they continue to hit their kids? After talking to experts on both sides of this issue, we're going to find out when we come back. If someone did something terrible to you or someone you know, and you want to demand an explanation, give us a call toll-free at 1-877-LATIFAH. I'm a cop. I've got to be in good shape. And I've got to have a lot of energy. Working out is key. But what really helps me is Slim Fest. I've been having a shake for lunch almost every day for the past nine years. It's quick, it's easy, it's satisfying. Slim Fest is healthy for you. It gives me what I need. Vitamins, minerals, protein, carbs. It's great nutrition. I have more endurance during my workout, more stamina. It's my energy drink. It makes me feel great. I love it. Slim Fest every day. Balanced nutrition for a healthy life. It works for me. It can work for you. All right, kid. Here we go. Ten nine. What do you got? What do you got? All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, come on, come on. What would you do if someone you loved had a heart attack? Yeah. Did you know it's now been proven that the same bare aspirin you have in your bag for muscle aches may actually help stop you from dying if you take it during a heart attack? Downtown. Lucky shot. Can your pain reliever do that? Talk to your doctor now. Next time I'll go easier on you. Bear. Powerful pain relief and so much more. There were three moms, wise as can be. They sent their wise men shopping for the entire family. 
Shopping for loved ones at the place they already know. Big K's changing for the better. Your one-stop shop and go. Great video games to let the mind play. A personal organizer for Cousin Faye. TVs, VCRs, and stereos for the den. Brand name electronic gifts for their wise men. Happy holidays from Big Kmart, the place you already know only better. When Lisa gets lost, Lisa? Homer looks high and low. The Simpsons. Tonight at 6.30 on Fox 26. Bunny is soft. Say soft. Blanky is soft. Say soft. Okay, time to change you. So soft, we guarantee it. Because Pampers Premium's cloth-like from the inside out. So soft. If you don't agree, you'll get your money back. Soft. Like Daddy's tummy. Pampers Premium. <laughs> For details, call 1-888-OH-SO-SOFT. Car insurance for $59 a month. Insurance Depot. That's what most drivers pay for liability coverage at Insurance Depot. $59 a month after a down payment of only $69. Call 730-DEPOT now. When you need insurance, you need Insurance Depot. When you need insurance, you need Insurance Depot. 730-DEPO. I love Monday on Fox. Catch all new holiday episodes of Time of Your Life and Ally McBeal. the discipline debate. Ronnie Lederman is a psychologist who says spanking doesn't work and parents should try options other than physical discipline. Please welcome her to the show. Excuse me. Thank you so much. And also, stand up for me, please. Uh, radio personalities Elaine and Bob Lehman, co-founders of Save Our Children. They fight for parents' rights to spank their kids. Now, let's start with you, Ronnie. You don't believe in spanking. What I believe is that discipline, as many of you mentioned, is about teaching. Well, we need to teach our children about self-control and cooperation, and most importantly, about making good decisions even when you're not present. That's a goal of discipline, so that even if mom or dad are not there, a child does not act out. A child that's typically spanked does not act out when mom or dad is there because they're afraid of being spanked. What we want our children to do is go to school, uh, behave appropriately behave because they, are, they understand the difference between right and wrong. Spanking, as we know, research is clear. It only continues a cycle of abuse. That's why those of us that were abused or, and or spanked typically spank our children. There are alternatives. Parents need to take parenting classes. So you totally disagree with it? I believe the parents have many ways to discipline. Okay. But if parents have the opportunity to find other ways, I suggest they look into other ways besides okay. spanking. Thank you. Thank you. What, what, Elaine, what, what is your feeling on this whole situation? We are for parents' rights to be able to use disciplines in their own home without interference. However, I have to clarify, I'm talking about disciplines, not beatings. Right. The words have been used interchangeably in the show. And right. They're not right. interchangeable. They're not interchangeable. They're not interchangeable. A spanking but is spanking. a planned, controlled procedure. Right. I gather that Daphne right. is, is doing that. And I must say now, too, that our area of expertise is antisocial children. These right. are the young criminals, right. or the ones who are potentially going to be criminals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these children are born different. All children are not born the same. It's not a matter of their genetics and how they're born and their mental makeups and all that thing, because I'm telling you, I've dealt with children all of my life. I've been involved in PTA on the county level, on any level you can think of. I deal with all types of children, and they understand because I don't talk at children. I talk to children. I listen to the children. Well, let me I ask this question what they really quickly, Brian. Um, can I say something about her saying that children are not the same and they don't think the same either? Because you can't make like um, oranges be apples or apples be oranges. Yes. Okay, we're aware. Yes. We're aware, of my man. Let me ask you this question. And let me ask you this question real simply. What was it that made you not go in that kitchen and get that knife when you were mad at your mother? Well, what? because I love my mother. Uh-huh. 
And I ain't want to be in juvenile for the rest of the okay. 2021. So you knew the difference between right and wrong. That's right. Yeah, in other words, yeah, I'm so you saying you knew it was wrong to do that? Yes. Yeah, we so got to button this whole thing up. I right. need to figure out, I need to find out what you guys are going to do. I At this point, are you going to continue to discipline your child in the way oh, that you're doing? I'm going to continue to discipline my child, but I'm not, I'm, like I said, once again, I'm not saying that I just all out and out just beat my kids just for any given thing, Fine. okay? Now, I will also say this, since you're talking about the prison Wait, system. Wait, before you get into I'm sorry. that, I just yeah, want to know, yeah, are you, okay, but you, you're saying you're going to continue to spank your kids, but are you two going to compromise on how this is done? Oh, we can, we can anyway. compromise, but like I said, my, exactly. our views exactly. are going to exactly. always be different. We're our views are going to always be different because, like I say, she can talk three or four times and then maybe get a result, I can just talk one time and get that result set right there and there. Exactly. Okay, yes so like hold on, hold on, yes I'm not, hold on, hold on, yes I'm, not saying, like I'm, saying, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that I don't spank because I don't talk talking, enough. I'm saying I spank because that's that's the last minute result. Well, I'm, minutes, I'm right? not saying so, that I don't I mean, beat my kids for anything. Just one second, Brian. I know we're not on the subject. Just one second, Brian. What are you going to do? Are you going to continue to discipline your child in the way that you've seen so far? I, I, at this point, at, at Brian's age, he has gone beyond the stage where he needs to actually be physically disciplined mm -hmm. because now his age of man. understanding has increased. Mm -hmm. right. He's older now, so now I can talk to him on a different level where the understanding is going to be even broader now than it was when he was five That's or six. That's all I want her to start so, doing. Right, so all I'm saying... We right, agree? Right, right, so Lovely. All, no, all I'm saying is... <laughs> That's what I wanted. I That's still, exactly what I, I wanted. still believe That's in it. That's what I want. I right. still believe in it, although for him yes. right now it's not, it's not as necessary. necessary. But right. I'm going to tell you one thing. As he grows to be a teenager, if I feel the need to physically get with him That's because right. he wants to be That's out right. on the corner of Chancellor and Lyons right. at 12 and 1 o'clock, I'm no. going to get with him. That's right. 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 That's that is really making how it's making her feel. I mean, you guys know each other better than I know you, or anyone in this audience does. Are you going to make any changes in the way that you discipline? Um, stand up for me. Um, in the way that you discipline your family? She's my daughter. I have three other kids at home, and I love them very much. I'm not going to go identify them on a slab. I'm not going to have them gangbanging, dealing drugs, ending up walking the streets. No. And what I'm going to tell you is, if they talk to me as their mother like a slut or a tramp in the street and they don't give me the respect, if it comes out of their mouth, they get it in the mouth. But I'm you not gotta saying. give me respect so quickly and I do have to wrap up. But what happens if, I mean, if you call your daughter a bitch, should she smack you in the mouth? She no. can say what she wants, but I taught my kids, you have a right to your opinion, you have a right to your say. You don't have a right to disrespect me or anybody in your house, and you don't have a right to disregard the rules in this house. What, those rules are good for, for one, they're good for all. If she don't like them, her stuff I can pack, and she can find it somewhere else. Because it ain't happening to my wheelchair at all. We're good, yes. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. I don't know. I like your mom. Mom, who can I see? No, mom, what is not like that? We'll be right back. Overweight teen. People was pinching me. I look in the mirror, I see only argument. You missing all the beautiful things about yourself. With a bigger issue. I ended up quitting school. I thought about killing myself at times. Longing for love and support. When you're ready to go back to school, I'll walk through those doors with you. Next, we met Tifa. Phone been disconnected. With smoke signal, you're back in business. No credit checks, no ID, no long waits. When you get connected with Smoke Signal, you're never off the hook. Call this number or visit your local store today. Sure, my old job gave me a paycheck, but it didn't give me much else. So I called ITT Tech. I always liked electronics, and with their help, I was able to turn what I like to do into what I'm paid to do. Now I have a job that gives me some real satisfaction. 
and something I never had before, a real future. For an informative brochure, call 1-800-ITT-TECH. That's 1-800-ITT-TECH. I used to wonder if I was too old to go back to school. Now I know I wasn't alone. I used to worry about my future. Now I know I have one. I used to wonder if I made the right decision. Now I know. I should have called sooner. Get a start on your future now. Call 1-800-ITT-TECH for an informative brochure. That's 1-800-ITT-TECH. Get the money you deserve when you get hurt on the job. Been denied medical treatment? Call us right now. 1-888-644-IWAC. 1-888-644-4922. The Injured Workers Assistance Center will fight and fight and fight to get you the money you deserve. Absolutely free. We help people who've been hurt on the job get the medical treatment you need and the money you deserve. Call us. 1-888-644-IWAC. 888-644-4922. If you've been hurt on the job, we can help get the money you deserve. Closed captioning and other consideration for Queen Latifah provided by. Experience the Conair Water Jet Spa, the most powerful compact ever that turns your tub into an invigorating experience. The Conair Water Jet Spa. Also from Conair, the ultra massaging foot spa bath. Want a snack? No time. <laughs> we'll be right back. Pillsbury One Step Cookie in its own ready to bake pan. Just pop it in the oven and eat. Cookies. Cookies. Wow. All right, Mom. Pillsbury One Step Cookie. A great snack is just one step away. Mom, that was fast. Why do people believe nothing works better than Alka Seltzer Plus? It just breaks up my nasal congestion so that I can finally breathe. Only Alka Seltzer Plus has the power of effervescence. It gets the medicine moving to break up your worst cold symptoms. Nothing breaks up your cold better. I want to thank um, all of our guests today for coming on our stage and sharing their stories with us, old and young and all in between. Um, obviously, this is an issue that uh, only one couple was able to, to pretty much come to an agreement on today. This is obviously a, a touchy subject, and it's such a sensitive subject that it will never be agreed upon, not in this century. Um, hopefully in the next century we can figure out some good, new, fresh-spangled way of trying to communicate with our children and get the same things across without spanking. Now, we obviously know that we don't want to spank. That's the last resort. Whether you choose to do it or not, it's always a last resort. So please try to communicate with your child first. Show your child love. Teach your child. Teach your child the difference between right and wrong so that they understand what your point is and what you're so upset about when you say, don't do that, and they do it anyway. Teach them so that they understand for themselves, so they can go out and handle themselves in our world and be productive, law-abiding citizens. Take care. See you next time on Queen La Tifa. It's a Christmas present from Fox to you. Mariah Carey, in concert at her alma mater. Don't miss Mariah Carey's homecoming special, tomorrow night at 8. The Nanny is next on Fox 26.